hello everyone uh, something for everyone artwork was created by a uh, gavin and he made it with the c40 so i decided to make it with the blender with the help of his c40 file and if you want to learn more about this uh, project like math, math math behind it then you can go to his channel i will leave a link in the description and then you can watch this video and he explained it really well and in this video i will only show you how to use the blend file okay so let's get started so original uh, project was made in a uh, c4d with the proxy and unfortunately in a blender we can't offset animation of a proxy so what i did is uh, i made a linked object and then we can go to edit mode and then we can add anything in there and then all the other uh, rectangle will have the same uh, object so it will make a perfect loop uh, so here is how i made it and so basically uh, what i did, did was uh, created uh, one of this uh, rectangle so like this cube uh, then we have uh, multiple copies of this rectangle rectangle like, like this cube now what i did is uh, i selected all the rectangles and then i just made a link so control n uh, uh, l and make a link so now now all these uh, cubes are linked together so if i edit this one uh, it will affect the all uh, affect all the other cubes so selecting this and then i will extrude it and so see now all of them are looking exactly same even if we scale it down it will work okay so how to use this uh, file is pretty simple just select any of this uh, rectangle and then select uh, the face or anything and then snap your cursor to selection so now we have cursor here so now when we add a new object it will be uh, going to add it over here so just i'm adding a cube and then i will scale it down like that and then i will push it up like that so now if i play this animation it will loop perfectly we can even add more things here and it will still work i think okay i have added it in, in a, a wrong place we should add it over here so make sure your 3d cursor is uh, on the right rectangle and then add anything here like this sphere and then i will just place it on top of it like that now see it will work perfectly and uh, and the cloth animation uh, i made uh, with the mesh cache so here i used a point cache and uh, mesh cache modifier to create this uh, loop and so what i did is uh, i have this uh, this object where i made the simulation and then i just exported this cloth simulation in a point cache uh, from here and then i just selected all the objects and then added this mesh cache modifier uh, with the same uh, cache file and i offset it by by uh, 120 keyframes because this animation is uh, 120 keyframes because each animation is uh, offset by and the animation is still rendering i just able to render a four second of animation in uh, like 10 to 20, 10 hours and the rest of the animation will take another 20 to 30 hours and if you, any of you have a nice graphic card with the rtx or something you can help me render it maybe okay and thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next one bye bye